Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I have an empties video. I don't know that it's been that long that since I've done one, but I have quite a few things here. Funny, I have one, two, three, four mascaras and a few body lotions. I guess I just finished up or pushed out a couple products from my routine all at once. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I typically love all things clean beauty. I'm 49 years old, have mature skin. I'd love to have you subscribe. Please leave a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, we're gonna start with face. Um, I'm just gonna grab what's here in front of me. First off, we have the 100% Cocoa Cream Cleanser. I do know all of 100% Pure's products are vegan now. I know for a moment or a long time, maybe before, they were not all vegan, although they were always natural. Um, but now they've gone vegan. So I'm, this does say vegan and natural, but I think everything is vegan. You can comment below if you know differently. Another thing about 100% Pure is they are very into being sustainable, no waste packaging kind of thing or less waste. And so they usually have cardboard or tin, just flimsier packaging. And this is an example of that. Uh, I know some of their products, which I'll talk about later, they're gonna be moving to glass, but that's just gonna increase the price point, which is what they were trying to avoid. But I think it's been hurting them because they have gorgeous, effective products and the experience isn't as wonderful as the product. Anyway, back to this. This is, let me see if there's any left in here. Oh, it smells like chocolate. As I said, it's cocoa cream cleanser and it is absolutely a dark color. You can see in there, it was beautiful. It does smell like chocolate, so it's a lovely experience. It was a cream cleanser, didn't strip my skin or dry it. Cacao has lots of antioxidants. I enjoyed it. I think it's a great Valentine's kind of gift. I bought it for myself a while ago. Lovely product. I do recommend it. I would repurchase it. Here's another 100% pure cleanser. This is a Bacuchiol cleanser. This says lactic and kojic acid. This one comes with the pump top. I did like this better, this experience better than the previous one, but this one is much thinner, basically the consistency of water, but it foamed and lathered beautifully. It gave me a nice cleanse. I used it as a second cleanse. It smells very citrusy. I really liked this too. I'm not a big fan of the citrus scent, so that's why I wouldn't repurchase it. You know, things about cleansers is everything washes off. Whoops. <laughs> washes off, so the ingredients like Bacuchiol, which if you're not familiar with Bacuchiol, it is a plant-based alternative to retinol. It's supposed to have very similar effects to retinol, but it acts in a completely different way. Anyway, back to ingredients and cleansers, typically they wash off. However, they can be formulated in a way that some of the ingredients stay on your skin afterwards. I'm not sure how that works. Don't know that that's one of them. So I don't know how beneficial the Bacuchiol was. I didn't leave it on my face as a mask or anything. I would recommend that one, like it's a nice cleanser if you wanna try it, but I'm not gonna repurchase that one. Clearly I've been on a 100% pure kick because <laughs> Here is their deep hydration sheet mask for intensive hydration. And it's exactly what it says it was. I've got two of these. I love them. They were hydrating. Um, I don't like the waste of sheet masks. They do, I know, have at least one mask that's like a gel and compostable, but I did not see on here that this one is. It is natural, vegetarian, gluten-free, and non-toxic. And the first ingredient is aloe, the second one is hyaluronic acid, so it really is just a hydrating mask. And I have very dry skin, especially in the winter. I live in a dry climate. I love these. I looked for one the other night. I wanted to wear it, and apparently I need to buy some more. Oh, so yes, I would repurchase, and probably after this video, we'll go and repurchase more. This is the Care Theorem Serum Boost. It's a hyaluronic acid serum with HA growth factor, which is, I forgot what, could that be hyaluronic acid growth factor? Not sure, but I do know that this is a brand created for middle-aged women by middle-aged women to help 
with they, the founders basically realized how their skin changed as they were aging and all they have are I think three hyaluronic acid products. It was a beautiful product, more, um, I really liked it. I guess what I'm trying to say is I would recommend it if you're a person who likes hyaluronic acid, if you benefit from it. My skin doesn't seem to especially like hyaluronic acid so I will not repurchase it. It lasted a long time for me because you need a very little, it's very thick. I do like the glass packaging and the dropper, very effective, and then I could, if I chose to, pour out the rest. There is some left, so I'm not repurchasing this one, but not because it's not a great product, it's just a personal thing. Okay, well I'll just tell you because I see now I have three more, a few more 100% pure products. If you watched my video I think at the end of the year or the beginning of this year about the status of my channel. I talked about that 100% Pure really is probably, I well not probably, is my favorite brand for everything. If I had to choose one brand and stick with it for makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, it would be 100% Pure. So I had bought my, I decided I'm just gonna do what I wanna do, forget the channel, or I'll share it on the channel, but if people wanna see all the new stuff, I'm not the channel for them. So that's what happened, and I have <laughs> some 100% pure things. So I have two empties of the Black Tea Grass Jelly Antioxidant Moisturizer. It does have tiger grass and ginseng. And it does also have, I believe, Bakuchiol in it. The original one of these I ever tried I was sent by 100% Pure to try and talk about on my channel, and then I've purchased more, and I have another one going right now. It is a gel serum. Tiger Grass is Sika, or um, is that the same thing as Centella Asiatica? <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind here. In any event, actually when tigers get injured, they will seek out this grass and go roll in it, and it actually helps heal the skin. It's an ingredient that's being looked into by the medical community to help heal wounds in humans. It's a wonderful ingredient. Does help with some redness on the face. Ginseng is also wonderful for the skin. Used a ton in Asian skincare, and I love these. I love the benefits of them. It's not particularly moisturizing. I just, I think I just love the ingredients and the skincare benefits of all the ingredients. So I have repurchased, I've also gifted it to people. Oh, this is one of the ones that I was talking about. So it currently, if they haven't already repackaged it, currently is $25, but they're gonna put it in glass packaging. And to be honest, and I hate to admit this about myself, but I look forward to that. It's just gonna make it a much nicer experience. And I think it'll be one that reflects the ingredients and I'll enjoy using it more. But once they do repackage it into glass packaging, I believe it's gonna be $65. So if you wanna try it for $25, a fraction of the cost, go ahead and try it. Oh, I do have, if it's still good, I have a coupon code for 100% Pure as well. I'll put that on the screen and I'll link it down below. Okay, last face item from 100% Pure. <laughs> Actually, it's not face, it's neck. It's the 100% Pure Retinol Restorative Neck Cream. This one already does come in glass packaging. I do keep this top on. I used to throw these away when I got a product, but I found that at least where I live, it's so dry that I should keep these because otherwise sometimes, not this particular product, but other products, when I've thrown this away, it gets like, a dried seal on the top of the product in the container. So I've learned to keep these. I don't know if that would have happened with this. It is beautiful, it's yellow, which uh, retinol typically is yellow. It smells wonderful. I believe it's rosemary that the scent is. I love this. I already have a new one that I'm using. I do use it on my neck and I'll try to include link up above and put in the uh, description box my video where I talk about this product and I show my neck before and after I started using it. My neck was horrible. This has made a huge difference. I use it every night. I love it. It's never once dried me out. Like retinol can cause sensitivity and the neck is a really, the skin is different and it's a more sensitive area and I was having trouble even with a lot of lotions. Love this, use it every night, recommend it. I already have repurchased it. I forgot I'm putting these in a container down here so I have more room and can tell what I wanna talk about next. <laughs>
Oh, this is an aside. On my lips, I have the Tower 28, uh, what are they called? Juice Balm. And I have the shade Mix. You guys, I love this. I actually have on a lip liner underneath it. Um, everything that's on my face will be listed in the description box, but these are the new lip balm lipstick things that have been released by Tower 28. I've had this for about two years. It was released early in a Sephora discovery box of some kind for Clean Beauty, and I got it. I have been seriously emailing Tower 28 for two years. When are you gonna come out with more? So I've ordered another shade. I absolutely love it. I love it. It is like, here. It's like a lip gloss, but it's thin, comfortable, not at all sticky, has that beautiful shine, no scent. Here's the shade. I know I'm doing empties, but you guys, I just love it. I love it, I love it. And it, you know, goes up and down with the twist, has a cap, the cap actually stays on. And I'm so excited about this, so I just had to share that. Okay, we still have more face. Uh, let's see, this is an Augustina's Butter, the Rich Cream. Clearly, it was a little sample. I wasn't blown away by it. I've wanted to try Augustina's Butter products. So maybe I didn't get to use it, well, I know I didn't get to use it long enough to see the difference on my face as, you know, skin typically, skin cells do turn over. They take about 30 days, but as you mature, that takes longer. It can take 60 days for our skin cells to turn over, and as we get older, can even take 90 days, so I'm sure that this did not last me long enough for me to tell the full benefits of it. It was nice, but I currently have a cream that I adore, that's thick and rich and all of the things that I'm looking for, so I wasn't blown away by that, that I'm gonna run out and buy it like I thought I would. Here's another sample. This is the Barbara Sturm, the Good C Vitamin C Serum. I just saw how bad my cuticles look. This is real life. <laughs> um, it's so cute. I love minis, so this, you know, tugs at my heartstrings. It's a little glass container with a dropper and I'm trying to see, I don't think I had a scent. It was a beautiful formula, was great under makeup. I mean, the formula is top notch. I can't speak to the ingredients or the effectiveness. This clearly did not last me long enough for me to tell a difference whether the vitamin C was effective on dark spots or for collagen repair or any of that. Um, I do know it's wildly expensive. I do know the formula was perfection and I know I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> if you've watched my channel, you know I have, to me, exceptionally, or let's just say incredibly dry inner corner and under eyes. It's a constant problem. I always look like I'm peeling or have milia, but I don't. It's just dry, crepey. So I'm always looking for a moisturizer, but I have the added benefit of having super sensitive under eyes. Things burn, they cause splotchiness, reactions. So I've tried lots of things. I finally, gave into trying this sample. It's Revive, I believe, or Revive. It is their eye cream, the Moisturizing Renewal Eye Cream. It lasted a really long time. I think this has um, some kind of actives in it because while it was a lovely texture and more beautifully under makeup and I used it at night too, it didn't irritate my eyes. In the beginning, it did cause some, kind of some peeling right in there, but that's typical for me, so I just was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna stick with it and see if that subsides. That did subside, and this was nice. I'm not gonna repurchase it, I prefer to use more clean things, but I feel like maybe it did something good, <laughs> and now I'm using um, a Fit Glow moisturizer under my eyes, and my eyes are just, under eyes are doing so much better than they were before I used this product. Another eye serum. You know, I don't think I'm gonna get through everything today. I think this is a two-parter. What do you think? Let me know in the comment, in the comments below, do you prefer longer videos or shorter videos? And I'm sure sometimes you want longer, sometimes shorter. Just 
I'm just trying to figure that out. Usually my videos are around 25 minutes. Usually my videos are around 25 minutes, but I'd love to hear from you what you'd like to see lengthwise. Anyway, this is a an under eye serum. It's from Beauty Pie. It's the Pure Ceramides Elastic Boost Eye Moisture Serum. It actually was a clear gel kind of serum. It has these massage roller balls and you twist and the product comes up out of the roller balls and you massage it onto your you know, skin. There's nothing there. It's, I've used every bit of this. And it was cool because it really used all the product. This is plastic, um, but I find usually with plastic, you know, hard plastic or glass, it's hard to get the last bit of a product out. This one really used it all up. This didn't do anything for my under eyes. It has a ton of fans, it's supposed to be a great product. I don't know, wasn't really moisturizing for me. I used the whole thing and I understand it's, it's like a serum, I believe. So you, I think the idea is you use that and then put something on top of it. Uh, I didn't notice a difference when I didn't use it as opposed to when I did. So for me, this is something I'm not gonna repurchase. It's just not for me. Ha ha ha. This is one of those, is it Con, Conjac? Uh, of course, I can't remember the name right now, but it's, I think a Conjac sponge. This is from, um, oh, I can picture the brand, L uh, Love. They're from like Brunswick, Georgia. I'll put the name on the screen. Anyway, I, tested out a few of their products. This came as a free gift. You wet it, it puffs up, and it's incredibly gentle. You can wash your face with it. You're never gonna be really too abrasive. The shape is great because the point of this fits right into the inner corner of the eyes. The heart, you know, just really, just got places. But you have to soak it before you're ready to use it. I never do that. And then when I'm ready to wash my face, I just hold it underwater. It takes like a minute to puff up, which I don't want to waste all that water. Bottom line, I never use it. I believe it's compostable because this thing will just disintegrate. And uh, let me know if you use something like this. Okay, this is the last one I'm going to do in this video because next would be, I know I started saying that I had mascaras, but that's going to be in the next video along with uh, some lip products, body care, hand lotion. So this is a two-parter. <laughs> All right, last thing in this video is the Say Sun Visor. A broad spectrum SPF 35. It's also a moisturizer and it really is a lovely moisturizer. It says it's sheer. It does have a tint to it, which you can see in here, that's actually the product that is tinting the letters. So it does have a tint to it to because it's a mineral sunscreen and that really just nullifies any white cast you might get, at least on my skin tone, also on some other people that I know who use it. It does leave a dewy finish. It's moisturizing, It's I love it. It's a beautiful finish. It's something that I wear often instead of foundation. Not when I want to replace foundation, but when I don't want to wear foundation, but still want something to blur my skin and look nice. I'm always wearing sunscreen anyway, and this is a product that I have repurchased. Right now I have about seven other sunscreens going, so I'm not repurchasing at the moment, but I do recommend this, and I have repurchased it, and most likely will again in the near future. Okay guys, so that wraps up this empties video. Uh, please do let me know in the comments, again, if you prefer a longer video or what length you like to see. If I maybe should have done it all at once. My dog is over there making noises. Once again, please do give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.